Good day, everybody. This is Dennis Wilmer with the Active Trend Traders. Welcome to today's tech tip. And the title of today's tech tip is Patience Will Be Rewarded, or as I like to say, the first IBD 50 of the year. I'm going to be talking a little bit about that, just a real brief. Uh, we'll keep this to about five to ten minutes. Uh, I want to cover the IBD first IBD 50 of the year and some of the research that we've done on this entity going back to 2007. So for the last 11 years, um, it's going to be the time of year where I like to go back in and, and just take a look and see if the patterns that show up every year on the IBD 50 have continued to do so in the current current year and this year in 2017 yes they have I want to remind everybody that all the materials that we do present at the active trend trader are for trading purposes only traders should always pay for trade any new method prior to the risk of their own personal capital now one of the things I call this a tech tip but we're actually going to be focusing a little bit on both the chart and also what do the I what does the IBD 50 stocks represent and why do I hone in on the stocks from the beginning of the year well it's fairly fairly simple one is the stocks that come out the first IBD 50 stock list of the year that goes through their fundamental uh, selection uh, process always returns very strong fundamentally strong growth stock candidates that are at various stages in either rallying or pulling back um, but going back to 2007 they have always provided that list that first list of the year uh, has always provided excellent candidates for significant big runs like I said double high double to triple digit moves every year uh, in that that you know uh, confined list and so if we're trying to clarify if we're trying to simplify hone in on just a few stocks and and that's what I'm done here I'm basically said hey you know the first place to make your initial cut if you just want to pay attention to a few entities and if you want to trade the stocks rather than the ETFs is look at the first you know first 10 to 15 that came out on the list that can be enough to basically uh, trigger your complete year traders fail to recognize the power of these fundamentally strong growth stocks and so the list comes out at the beginning of the year and they basically forget about it um, and the fact of the matter is, is, is by forgetting about it, you miss the turn, you miss the triggers, regardless if you're trading a, a great system like the active trend trading system or some other trend trading system that would trigger you in and out of the trade. So what has the system, what has the IBD 50 done from the beginning of the year? Uh, the top 11 stocks, kind of interesting. And I'm measuring that basically from the low of the year to the high of the year after that low. And look at what's turned out. And I basically just looked at the top 10, you know, the, the list of stocks. It wasn't hard to go and select them. And basically I went from, you know, here's my randomness. I went from one to 11. These are the stocks that came out, one, two, three, four through, through 11. On the first list of the year, Here's the SPY, here's the Qs, here's the IWM, how well they've done for the year, as you can see right here. You know, not too bad. It's been actually a, a quite a healthy year for, for the uh, indexes. But look what's going on up here, NVDA. NVDA, what's interesting about NVDA, and we'll take a look at the charts here shortly, NVDA actually fell off the IBD50 list. And if we would have taken our eye off that initial list, we would have missed this kind of move, 108% from low to high this far this year. It had a low of 195.17, a high of just recently 198.90, uh, moved $103. The other big, you know, really good size mover again was ANET. 124th uh, percent. That's the total amount of the move. Now we're going to capture all that, probably not. But if we're focusing on, look at some of these other moves: ESNT 37 percent, UBNT 48.33, uh, Tho uh, THO 49 percent, IDCC uh, 12 percent, Play 
uh, play kind of just came back into play. We just did a trade on play last Friday, in fact, and we offered that as a bonus trade for even people who are not active trend trader trend trading prime, premium members. But keep an eye, you know, keep an eye on this. Really nice moves all the way down through the top 11. These moves went actually throughout all of the the first stock, you know, first list of the year. What I do with the first list of the year, I I compile it and then I add whatever new stocks are coming onto the IBD 50 every week. And so at, by the end of the year, I have a running list of, of stocks that have warranted, qualified to be on the, the this elite um, IBD 50 list that fall, you know, that I can basically track through the, you know, through the end of the year. And oftentimes all I'm waiting for is for them to do a significant pullback. And sometimes they're stronger than others. The pullbacks are stronger than others to give a really nice rebound. As you can see, MBDA, really nice rebound. ANET, really nice rebound. And, you know, play, hopefully we'll be getting the same type of rebound off play. But let's take a real quick look at, let's take a look at the, the charts to say what what and the charts tell us and basically what we've got is this go this chart covers the year as we can see and here's what we tracked is MVDA from the low of the year which is approximately right here to the high which is approximately where it ended today uh, that wound up to be what I say um, I wound up to be a very very nice move. And so was there a trigger that would have gotten us in? Yes, there was an active trend trading uh, trigger. But that was on, uh, here we go, 417. And so actually around, you know, February time frame, uh, NVDA was weakening, had a kind of, you know, nice little move up uh, first part of the year, dropped off uh, uh, significantly from there, fell off the, the uh, uh, IBD 50 somewhere in this area. And then uh, just of recent, probably when it hit up here in the July time frame, was put back on the IBD 50 and has, you know, moved from there. But by watching this all year long, this list of great growth stocks, we're in tune with, okay, where is it actually really turning around? Where is it basing? Uh, and oftentimes on these basings and the active trend trading triggers, we can get a jump on the, the, um, the entity before it moves, you know, before it goes back on the list. And so that's where I like it. So that's one. Um, let's see what else we got going here. ESNT, another Another entity, S and T, as you can see, has kind of, kind of just moved sideways for the year. But as, as, um, let me do one thing. Hold on. There we go. I want to make sure that I'm looking at. Um, There we go. Uh, there's uh, ESNT, a 37% move. You know, on on something. You know, and it was somewhere. Here's the here's the low. You know, here here is the high. It just went into it. So it would have been a hold for a long long period. But along the way, there was various places where the active trend trading system would have gotten us into a trade on ESNT. So another strong case. UBNT, similar type situation. UBNT has basically done almost nothing for the year. I mean, here's where it began the year and has done absolutely nothing. However, within the year, it's had a 48% run. Those are the things that by paying attention to those initial entities that made the cut the first time of the year, uh, we can be paying attention and saying, okay, this is a great time to be able to get into this particular entity. So, 49% uh, return again, uh, kind of just has moved sideways from the majority of the year. It is up from where it's going, but it hit a low down here about $90 and then went up from there. IDCC, IDCC actually uh, basically has been kind of a downtrend, but IDCC still had a 12% move. Play again also actually did a really nice run up through the beginning of the year, then has fallen into a significant downtrend, which may be seeking to find a bottom and and basically consolidate here for to recoup and start moving up. We'll see, you know, we'll keep an eye on that. Gate, um, GATX, again, it's kind of a sideways move, but within that move, there was a 19 0.59% move, and 
Yeah, EVR actually looks kind of interesting from a, a daily standpoint that it may be going back into the moving averages. And so this may trigger out to be a, a, a new trade. As you can see, on a daily basis, nice volume as it's sitting there on top of the uh, 100, 200 day moving average, get it back above the 50, and we could be moving back up to 82. So that might be a bonus trade for us later this week. Uh, CFG, again, from the beginning of the year move more or less sideways, but it had one significant big move. Uh, again, CFAJ, uh, about 20% from here to here. And the last two, very interesting, uh, SIBG, uh, SIBB, actually maybe turn it over. And, and that's one thing that I like about trading the uh, IBD 50 stocks is when they roll over and fall, uh, they also become very good stocks for the short list. And then last but not least, A N. A-N-E-T, uh, as you can see, picked up uh, just almost at the beginning of the year, uh, hit its low, and has just basically been screaming ever since and is up 124.75%. Um, and so that's what I wanted to bring in and just say, you know, it's a great place just to, to – you know, unless you just really love beating yourself up, going out there searching for, you know, stocks to trade and all that kind of stuff with a little bit of patience, with a little bit of foresight, the IBD 50, first one of the year, or, you know, join the I, join the uh, um, join us at the uh, Active Trend Trader Premium uh, members, and we'll actually, you know, you get access to the to the IBD, you know, the the running list. You get access to what our what we see as the fundamentally strongest IBD 50 stocks, and also the trades we're doing on the the ETFs, the leverage ETFs, which uh, even helps us out more with our uh, with our uh, position with our performance so far. Performance is great for the year. I uh, just hit about a little bit over 37%, so pl pleased with that. So we showed the charts. And so, okay, hey, active trend training, we're all about clarify, simplify, multiply. I want to bring these tech tips to you uh, uh, occasionally, about 10 minutes worth. I hope that this one's been, you know, has given you uh, an area to say, you know, I don't have to be out there searching for stocks all the time when there's a place where there's a corral that has stocks in them that always, you know, tend to outperform the market. That's the message of today's uh, um, tech tip. And lastly, um, at the end of the video, there will be a link if you would like to get on our mailing list. Um, we're pro providing a bonus trade every month. Just even people who just come and check us out and listen uh, for the Friday and Monday webinars. Uh, this past Friday, we got into a trade on play, P-L-A-Y. And again, that is just a bonus trigger showing that the power of the active trend trading system. So like I said, at the end of this, there will be a link. You can go and get on our mailing list and get your early invites to all of our free webinars. Okay, God bless everybody. And from Hawaii, this is Dennis saying aloha.